Hello, everyone. I am Jennifer Berlick, and I will be leading you through stretching and toning exercises. These videos are made part of a funded study in the laboratory of Dr. Ruchika Prakash at the Department of Psychology at The Ohio State University. Please be aware that you are the expert on your body and its limitations. So if something is uncomfortable or painful, please avoid that exercise or consult your physician. During our stretching and toning exercises, we will be using a chair and one to three blankets. If you are watching this video at home, please have those items available. Towels can also be substituted for the blankets. We will start by sitting in a chair. Let's place our fingers on our hip bones. To find the hip bones, go to that uppermost part of your pelvis, feeling that bony part protruding through your flesh, even if you have to poke your fingers down in there to find it. Once you do, to tilt our pelvis forward, we'll actually feel those hip bones tilt forward. To tilt our pelvis backward, we'll feel those hip bones tilting backward. And let's just move our pelvis back and forth a few times. As you do this, notice what's happening in your spine. Tilting back and forth. Notice how as we tilt forward, we have a little exaggeration in the curve of our lower back. As we tilt back, we begin to flatten or collapse through our lower back. The thoracic part of our back becomes exaggerated, and we even start to feel as though the cervical curve in our neck has become flattened and extended as the head reaches forward of the neck. Let's bring our pelvis into a more neutral position. We feel that na very natural curve in our lower back that we call our lumbar curve. We also have a gentle curve in the opposite direction. That's our thoracic curve in the middle of the back. And then our final curve is in our neck, which is our cervical curve. And when our head sits on top of our neck, it weighs about 12 pounds. But when it reaches forward, like it does often for many of us, it begins to weigh about 30 to 40 pounds. Our neck muscles would much rather hold the 12 pound head. So let's go ahead and position our head right on top of our neck. Let's use a blanket, placing the fold of the blanket at the front of the chair, but leaving a few inches of space. Let's go ahead and sit down on the front fold of the blanket. As we do that, there's two bones at the bottom of the pelvis that we call the sit bones. We'd like to feel those bones on the front fold of the blanket. When we position our pelvis that way, it brings it into a nice neutral position, which helps the spine to align itself as well. One other thing I want you to think about is whether or not you need the support of a blanket under each foot. Sometimes our legs aren't long enough and comfortable enough in a chair, and it helps to add a blanket underneath the feet. When your spine is properly supported, your back muscles are being used the way they were intended. This decreases stress on the ligaments that help hold your spine in position, which can decrease back aches. But did you also know that your body's posture can have an impact on your well being? A study done here at OSU in 2009 showed that people who sat up straight had more confidence in their own thoughts. Let's use shoulder rolls to help improve our posture as well. Drawing your shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Make these nice, deep rotations. Let's do three more. Forward, up, back, and down. And this last time, as you roll back and down, feel your shoulder blades seat themselves in the frame of the body. Notice how good that feels on your posture, and also notice how your chest is a little bit more open. Good posture also helps us to breathe better. Our rib cage opens up, which allows us a deeper breath. 
the extra oxygen you take in from breathing deeper can help to give you more energy. In the next exercise that we do, we will be working on diaphragmatic breathing, which has been shown in a study to not only allow for improved sustained attention, but also lowered cortisol levels, which helps to lower stress. Place a hand on your navel and another hand on your upper chest. As you breathe, notice which hand is moving. When we breathe with our diaphragm, we want to feel our navel moving. You might also feel the side and edges of your rib cage moving. Our diaphragm is a muscle situated at the base of the lungs. When we use it to breathe, it puts pressure on everything beneath it, pulling air into your lungs. Because there is not a lot of resistance in our navel, we tend to feel movement in and out through the navel but also sometimes in the lower edges of our rib cage and the side body as well. Let's take five deep diaphragmatic breaths together. This type of breathing allows us to breathe deeper and bring more oxygen into our lungs, which as I stated before, can help us to improve our attention levels and lower our stress levels. Using your diaphragmatic breath, on an inhale, lift your right shoulder up towards your ear as you bend to the left. On an exhale, return back to center. And then on the other side, inhale, lifting your left shoulder up towards your ear, bending toward the right. Exhale, come back to center. Continue to alternate sides for a total of five stretches on each side. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opening up through your rib cage. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretching through the spine. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Exhale six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And finally, inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming back to center. This next exercise is a gentle way to strengthen your arms and shoulders. With an inhale, bring both arms out to the side, up at shoulder height with the thumbs pointing up. On an exhale, bring both hands together in front. Repeating four more times, inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, feeling the arms get stronger, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Chest open. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten resting your hands down. Let's stretch our shoulders a little bit more with this pose called Modified Eagle. Crossing your right hand over to your left shoulder. Let's place the other hand on the back of that elbow 
and then pressing on your elbow until you feel the stretch. Breathe and hold one, two, three, four, five. And now as you release your elbow, bring your hand back to the shoulder and then crossing your left hand over to your right shoulder. On an inhale, lift your elbows up and on an exhale, lower your elbows down. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one more time. Feel that opening through the shoulder and the chest, lifting up. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and repeat that on the opposite side. Left hand coming up to the right shoulder. Place the other hand on the back of that elbow and press until you feel the stretch. Relaxing. One, two, three, four, five. And then as you release the elbow, we bring the hand back to the shoulder and then the right hand crosses up to the left shoulder. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one more time. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and releasing your hands down. We're going to come into some torso rotations, which are a nice way to help relax your lower back muscles and hips. Placing your hands on your thighs, inhale, rotating your torso to the right and back. Exhale as you rotate to the left and forward. Repeating four more times. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more time. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's reverse and go in the other direction. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Use that nice, deep, diaphragmatic breath. Exhaling, and then inhaling, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Last time, inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming back to center. When we exercise our feet, they can act like a pump helping with circulation in the legs. Let's extend our right leg out in front with the heel resting on the floor. Point and flex your foot five times. 
point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Feel how good that feels. And then make circles with that foot going in one direction. Two, three, four, five. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Repeating on the left leg. Point and flex. Point and flex. Notice that nice stretch happening in both the front and back of your leg. One more time. And now make circles with the toes. Three, four, five. Other direction. One, two, three, four. Lubricating your ankle joint, five. And bring your foot back to the floor. Check in with your posture again and make sure that you're sitting upright. Let's use our blanket underneath our sit bones as we did in step one paying attention to the pelvis being in a neutral position and the back lifting tall. Good. Now let's bring our fingertips back to the hip bone. Feet stepping a little bit wider than your hips. And as you lift tall through the spine, on an exhale, start to tilt your pelvis forward, keeping your back long so that we're not rounding our back. And let's also keep our neck and head in alignment with the upper spine. Taking five deep breaths here. One, two, three, four, five. And on an inhale, come back up to your seated neutral position. Let's come to a standing position behind the chair. Placing your hands on the back of the chair and walking your feet away until your head and chest are facing the floor and your hips are about 90 degrees. If you need to, give yourself a little bit of a knee bend. And then pressing away from the chair, feel your spine lengthen as you reach away with your sit bones, remember those are the two bones at the bottom of your pelvis. Count with me, breathing as we hold this. One, two, three, four, five. And on an inhale, walking your feet back in as you come up to standing. We are actually tallest when we get out of bed in the morning because gravity is not compressing our spine while we sleep. This gives time for your discs to hydrate, giving more cushion between the spinal vertebra. The chair press and some of these other lengthening poses that we'll do in this session help to encourage the spine to lengthen. Let's come into the chair press. We'll be swaying our hips with our chair press this time taking advantage of that extra length in your spine. Walking your feet away from the chair until you're facing the floor and the hips are at about 90 degrees. Bending your knees if you need to, pressing away from the chair, feel your spine lengthen as you reach out through your sit bones. And then with that length, count with me as we sway our hips to each side five times. One, two, three, still pressing away from the chair, four, five, six, seven, 
Keep the back of your neck long, gazing down at the floor. Eight, nine, and 10. Bringing your hips back to center. Press away again once more. And then on an inhale, walking your feet in and coming back up to standing. With your hands still on the back of the chair, keep one foot in that position as your other foot steps back. We can keep our knee safe and strong by aligning it right on top of the ankle. That's the strongest position for our knee. Stretch your back leg by lengthening your heel toward the floor. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. This stretch releases the calf muscles, which believe it or not, can be an important part of back health. Step your back foot forward and repeat on the opposite side. Pressing through your heel. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Stepping your foot forward and coming to standing. Look down at your feet, making sure that they're about hip width or a little bit wider. Have your toes pointing straight ahead. On an inhale, lift your arms up overhead. If this is difficult for you, you can keep your arms bent or even relax by your side. If you're able to, arms come up overhead, reach and lift through one side, then the other. Feel your spine lifting up and down away from your pelvis, reaching through the crown of your head and fingertips, breathing as you hold this, moving side to side. Coming back to center, and on an exhale, relax your arms down. With your feet still hip width, interlace your hands in front of you with your index fingers pointing straight. On an inhale, lift both arms up overhead, stretching up toward the ceiling as much as you can, lifting the spine up as you do. Taking that length to the side on an exhale, Stretching your fingers over to one side. On an inhale, come to center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale to center. And on an exhale, relax your arms down by your side. Let's repeat that four more times. Interlacing your hands. Inhale, the arms lift up. Reaching toward the ceiling. Exhale to one side. Inhale to center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale and release. Again, inhaling up, lengthen to the ceiling. Exhale to the side. Inhale to center. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhale, the hands down. Interlace, inhale, lift up and lengthen. Exhale to the side, inhale up. Exhale to the other side, inhale to center. Exhale, arms down. One more time, inhaling up, exhale. Inhale to center, exhale. Inhale to center, exhale your arms down. Let's roll our shoulders out a little bit to relax them. Good. Doing some shoulder rolls, reaching your shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Let's repeat that four more times. Three, four, and this last time, as you draw forward, up, back, and down, let your shoulders see into the frame of the body. Notice how good that feels 
tuning into your posture. Hopefully you feel a little bit taller now. Step away from the chair if you're not already for this next one. Let's have our feet wider than the hips, lifting one heel and bending the knee, sway to one side and then the other. And I want you to really relax your shoulders, your upper body, the back as much as you can. Maybe even pretending that you don't have any bones in your arms. So the arms are just kind of lightly flopping against the body. Relax here. Make sure your heel is lifting and your knee is bending as you come to each side. And then gradually we come back to center. Let's come back to the chair. Sitting down on that front fold of your blanket again. Remember, we wanna feel our sit bones on the front fold, bringing our pelvis to neutral and giving us a nice seated posture. Bend each arm, placing your fingertips up on top of your shoulders. And on an exhale, we'll twist to the right. Exhaling one, two, three, four, five. Inhale to center, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhaling to your left, one, two, three, four, five. Inhaling six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's repeat that four more times. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel those muscles stretching. Also feel your diaphragm working a little bit harder. Exhaling, one, two, three, four, five. Inhaling, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more time to each side. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Your arms might be a little tired, so let's rest the hands down to the lap. Roll your shoulders a little bit. Good. Sitting up tall, we have a few options for our arms. We can interlace our hands behind the body. You can do that holding a sock between your hands. Or you can reach back, holding the back or outside of your chair. Do whatever is most comfortable for your arms and shoulders. On an inhale, as your shoulders draw back, lift your chest and head like you're coming into a back bend. On an exhale, return back to center. Repeat this four more times, counting with me. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more time. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax your hands, pull your shoulders out a little bit. This concludes the first part of our session. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you soon.